Show, so let's go. It's your music and lifestyle, fashion profile, the entertainment source for everything you want to know about. North to the south, the east to the west side. Stay connected with Ruben Torres worldwide. So let's go across the globe, well respected, beasting on the industry. Up. Today we're getting connected with Ruben Zamora of Mass Republic. We're out here in South Bay San Diego for Border View YMCA. We're going to check out one of his events, MassRepublic.com. Check it out when you get a chance. We're going to go check out Lucha Libre tonight, so join us. Today we're getting connected with my boy Ruben Zamora of Mass Republic. We're out here in South San Diego. Uh, set up shop. We got a bunch of wrestlers coming in. Kid walking by. We start this over. <laughs> yeah, start over. It's okay. Bloopers. So go ahead and tell me in a little bit about Mass Republic and what you got going on. Yeah, we started back like in about 2002, 2003 when I met Ray Mysterio Sr. Uh, down in a, at a show in Tijuana. I've been a fan since I grew up watching Lucha Libre since I was a little kid. And uh, I started kind of being like the booking agent. You know, I started asking what it takes to run a show. And ran my first show in 2003 at Southwest High School, you know, the high school I graduated from. And uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't that successful, but it was like a trial and error period. Uh, a year later, in 2004, we moved to Montgomery High School, and that's when we started blowing it up. Yeah. I was actually at that show in 2004. Oh, you were? Yeah. And I remember, because I had just moved back down to uh, San Diego from LA, I remember seeing the signs everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, and it kind of reminded me of just that whole Tijuana vibe, where yeah. you just drive down and yeah. you see the signs. And exactly. It was, it, was a, it was a cool event, man. I couldn't wait to, to see yeah. another one. Here that, we are, you know, years later. That's the overall feel that we want to bring. I know there's a lot of people that either don't want to go to Tijuana because, you know, what they hear on the news about the balance. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people that don't want to go because they might not be able to come back because you know, of their immigration status. So what we want to do is bring a little bit of what, you know, the Mexican people are used to watching since they were kids, the Lucha Libre, and bring it to San Diego, you know, South County where I grew up. Um, a lot of my friends are still in the area. And we just want to bring a good quality show that's not going to break the bank and, you know, have mom and pop show up. And I think we're able to do that. Tell me a little bit more about the company and, and uh, I know you guys got DVDs, you got yeah. merchandise and you got a lot going on. Um, the first year I started running shows, I lost a lot of money. Um, uh, a lot of friends and family were, you know, trying to convince me to do otherwise, but um, I always believed and I, I always knew, and I know it today, that Lucha Libre product sells itself. You don't need to convince people that it's cool, that it's hip, that it's exciting. So we decided to put everything under one name, one umbrella. We call it Mask Republic. You know, in Spanish, it's República Enmascarada. And we do everything from uh, live pay-per-views. Last year, we had a pay-per-view series called Viva La Lucha. And we recently signed a merchandising deal uh, with a company called JSR Direct. They do all the robot chicken, ACDC type of uh, yeah. merchandise. And uh, we're the first company that's able to uh, sign legit deals uh, to market the luchador's name, mask. And this time, we're starting with shirts. And we're the only company that actually pays them royalties. I mean, you can go on eBay, you can go on Amazon, buy a lot of fake stuff. But the wrestlers aren't getting a cut of that, and I get in their you know, proper royalties. So um, we're the first company that's actually structured it right. So they get the percentage uh, based on the sales. We don't get our money until they get paid. So um, I think we're starting off right. We got uh, Parca on board, the original Parca, La Parca. Conan, uh, Ray Senior, who gave us the Ray Senior name, and the Hijo de Rey Misterio. Uh, Rayo de Jalisco Solar. We've got a, a crew, of maybe about 30 luchadores that are signed on board, and we're slowly going to start bringing the product out. So, nice. you know, we just ask people to buy buy the, the uh, real stuff, the legit stuff that the wrestlers are going to get a percentage out of. So, we're we're going into DVDs, we're going into pay-per-views. Uh, we just taped the show in Vegas called the Lucha Las Vegas, nice. which is for uh, 18 or older. It was wrestling, uh, you know, some dancers, some like crazy circus stunts. So we're starting to branch out into everything, you know, trying to, you know, bring the Mexican Lucha Libre 
uh, to the entire world. It's huge in Mexico, it's starting to get big like in Europe, in Spain. So we're, we're hoping to be the company that brings you everything you want in Lucha Libre to the masses. And this is 100% Mexican Lucha Libre. But for, uh, for a, young, a young kid that wants to become a wrestler, and all his life, you know, he's watched, you know, Lucha Libre or, or WWF or, you know, any of that. What yeah. kind of advice would you give you know, a kid it's, like that? It's, it's a lot of work. When I first started, when I met Ray Senior, I actually trained Lucha Libre for over a year with him. I was in at, the, at his gym in, in Tijuana. I would cross the border four times a week um, in the afternoons, and we trained for two and a half hours. Back then, I didn't have the sentry, so we'd wait in that long line to come back. It's a lot of work. Um, if you really believe it, you believe in it, if that's what you want to do, stick to it. Yeah, it's not going to come overnight, so it takes a lot of years of preparation, a lot of work. Um, but more than anything, my advice is get an education, go to school. Um, I was lucky, my parents pushed me, I graduated from Cal State San Marcos. I got my degree in communication. I was actually a police officer for a while for San Diego, and then I decided that I think I want to try Lucha Libre. So I have something to fall back on, but um, get prepared, go to school, get an education, and at the same time pursue your, your side projects. One of the two is going to work out. So, what can we expect in the future from Master Public? Um, the goal is to keep bringing these live shows maybe every six weeks to San Diego, and at the same time, keep pushing the products of these luchadores. Um, they're probably not going to be rich off of our products, but if we can cut them a check, you know, a royalty check every three months, they'll be happy. So, uh, look for our stuff, either live show uh, as Master Public, as Viva La Lucha. Uh, look for our shirts with JSR Direct. It's going to be all over the place. So. Uh, one thing we will say that if you see our, our tag of Mass Republic, it's the real deal. It's the stuff that's authorized by the luchadores. It's the real live shows with the real wrestlers. So um, there's a lot of other companies out there. Support them as well. But uh, if you see us coming to town, it's it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a good deal. Real and, deal. You know, everybody yeah. turns out, and, and especially you, man. We're yeah. glad you're here too. Yeah, no, man. Good looking so, out. Appreciate yeah. the invite. And, yeah. I mean, I've been looking forward to this since since the last one I went to in 2004. Oh man. And, yeah. So it's just going to be a good one, man. So. Yeah. There you go. Connected with Ruben Torres, connected with Ruben Zamora, yep, Mass yep. Republic. Make sure you check them out, www.massrepublic.com. And uh, we're going to check out the show, so let's see what's cracking. Peace.